When Aaron Jameson returned to his family home, he brought with him a carefully devised plan to transfer the cheetah he had recently saved to a specialized wildlife rehabilitation center. This center was uniquely equipped to handle such exotic animals, ensuring their safety and proper care. As he crossed the threshold of his childhood home, a sense of anticipation enveloped him, as he was acutely aware of the significant impact this decision could have on his family's life. Particularly on his daughter, Helen. That evening, Aaron stepped into his daughter's bedroom, only to be greeted by an unexpected and breathtaking sight. There, nestled comfortably beside Helen, was the cheetah he had rescued. The scene was extraordinary and far removed from the typical images one might conjure when thinking of a child's room. Instead of displaying any signs of discomfort or aggression, the cheetah lay at ease, its demeanor softened by Helen's gentle presence. This moment starkly contrasted with the conventional family environment, which usually featured domestic pets like dogs or cats, animals chosen for their predictability and safe nature. In most households, the presence of a pet is seen as essential for a child's development. Fostering a deep emotional bond between them, Parents often take comfort in the belief that pets provide a sense of security and companionship for their children. However, the scene unfolding in the Jameson household was exceptionally striking and reflective of Aaron's unique lifestyle and perspective on life. Aaron's propensity to embrace challenges had led him to join the British Royal Army at the tender age of 18. Despite his parents' reservations about his chosen career path, his experience in the military expanded his worldview exposing him to diverse cultures and environments that shaped his character. The image of the cheetah lounging in Helen's room was not just an anomaly. It vividly illustrated how Aaron's unconventional choices and adventurous spirit had profoundly influenced the dynamics within his family. After completing his military service, which greatly broadened his horizons, Aaron continued to lead a life characterized by adventure and purpose. He relocated to the wild and rugged terrains of Limpopo, South Africa, where he assumed the role of a captain within an anti-poaching unit. This position allowed him to blend his passion for wildlife conservation with his leadership skills. It was in this challenging yet rewarding environment that Aaron truly thrived. Forging strong relationships with his team and excelling in his role as a protector of endangered species. It was against this vibrant backdrop that Aaron's path intersected with that of Liza Van Wald, a dedicated game ranger with a deep-seated commitment to wildlife preservation. Their paths crossed during a routine patrol in the African wilderness, where they quickly forged an undeniable bond built on mutual respect and shared passion for nature. This connection marked the beginning of a new chapter in Aaron's life, intertwining his fate with Liza's in the heart of the untamed land. Their relationship blossomed swiftly, grounded in the shared experiences and challenges of their work, culminating in marriage within just a year. As they built their life together, their happiness was amplified each night when Aaron retreated to his study. A practice born not only from a sense of duty but as a profound gesture of love. This quiet time allowed him to ensure Helen's safety and peace of mind. Reflecting his commitment to nurturing a nurturing environment for his daughter, he often found solace in planning family outings and adventures, eager to share his passion for wildlife and the natural world with Helen. The birth of their daughter, Helen, marked a pivotal moment for Aaron and Liza, igniting a new joy in their lives that they had never experienced before. She became the light that illuminated every facet of their daily routines, transforming the ordinary into something magical. Both parents dedicated themselves fully to her happiness and welfare, a pledge that held strong even amidst the most testing of times. This unwavering commitment was put to the ultimate test when Aaron, deeply engaged in anti-poaching activities, made the audacious decision to bring home a rescued cheetah. The arrival of the cheetah was met with a mixture of excitement and apprehension. But what unfolded was nothing short of extraordinary. Despite expectations that a wild animal might be skittish or aggressive, the cheetah displayed a surprising tranquility. To everyone's astonishment, it showed no signs of aggression towards young Helen. Instead, its gentle and peaceful demeanor around her was astounding, challenging the conventional notions of suitable family pets. 
especially within the distinctive context of the Jameson family, whose lives were so intricately intertwined with conservation efforts in the stunning landscapes of South Africa. This choice of an unconventional pet underscored Aaron's profound empathy and understanding of animal behavior, showcasing his family's remarkable ability to adapt to their extraordinary circumstances. The event not only cemented Aaron's commitment to wildlife conservation but also enriched his family's life with the unique and serene presence of the cheetah, which seemed to blend effortlessly into their home life. In a twist resembling a fairy tale, Aaron often reflected on the unpredictable connections in life. He had traveled extensively to rescue this remarkable creature, and now it resided peacefully in his home symbolizing the unexpected and often deep bonds that can form between humans and animals. This experience further reinforced Aaron's connection to his conservation work and his affinity for the native wildlife he cherished. Thoughtfully preparing for the cheetah's integration into their family life, Aaron placed its enclosure strategically in the hallway between his and Helen's bedrooms. This arrangement embodied his dual role as both a vigilant protector and a nurturing caregiver within his household. Yet, despite the initial harmony, he remained acutely aware of the potential future scenarios that might challenge this seemingly idyllic setup. The dynamics of living with a wild animal were complex and required constant attention and respect for the boundaries that separated their worlds. As evening approached, the Jameson family gathered around the dinner table, where Liza had expertly prepared a nourishing meal that celebrated the flavors of their local environment. The delightful scents wafting through the home created an atmosphere of cozy warmth, inviting everyone to unwind and share in the simple pleasure of good food and companionship. The table was alive with energy as they exchanged stories from their day, each tale a thread woven into the fabric of their shared lives. They laughed together, reminisced about their adventures, and cherished these moments that allowed them to reconnect and fortify their familial bonds as the enveloping twilight deepened around them. As the evening shadows stretched across the family's home, casting a dusky embrace that made each room feel like a sanctuary, each member of the household gradually retreated to their own spaces. Aaron, ever the diligent guardian, meticulously ensured that his daughter Helen was comfortably settled in her room. He took a moment to check her bedding. Adjust the curtains to let in just the right amount of soft, moonlit glow, and even tucked her favorite stuffed animal under her arm. This ritual was more than mere routine. It was a heartfelt expression of his deep love for her, a reminder that she was safe and cherished in this world filled with both beauty and unpredictability. After ensuring his daughter's safety, Aaron retired to the bedroom he shared with his wife, Liza. There, enveloped in the serene hush of the night, the couple quickly succumbed to a deep and restful slumber. However, this tranquility was harshly interrupted when a loud, unexpected noise jolted Aaron from his sleep. His instincts, honed from years in the military, propelled him into action. With swift and careful movements, he armed himself with the firearm from his nightstand and began a thorough check of every corner of their home. As he moved silently towards the source of the disturbance, his heart sank. The sight of their pet cheetah's cage not just ajar, but wide open, sent a surge of anxiety through him. His fear turned to outright terror when he recognized those unsettling noises coming once more, this time unmistakably from Helen's room. With a whirlwind of dreadful thoughts racing through his mind, Aaron approached her door, the sound of gnawing growing ominously louder with each cautious step he took. Despite the pounding of his heart echoing in his ears, he maintained his composure, his grip on the pistol steady and ready for any confrontation that might lie ahead. Pausing momentarily to steady himself, he inhaled deeply, summoning the courage to push the door open, bracing for whatever might await him inside. Peering cautiously into the room, Aaron prepared himself for a scene of chaos and destruction, yet what he encountered instead was remarkably peaceful. At the center of the room, the cheetah was merely engaged in a harmless activity, contentedly chewing on one of Helen's plush toys, treating it as if it were the most delightful plaything. Nearby, Helen sat on the floor, her face alight with joy and utterly devoid of fear. A wave of relief washed over Aaron, 
and an overwhelming sense of admiration for the unexpectedly gentle nature of this wild creature, who now shared their home, filled his heart, in a calm and astonishing twist. Aaron observed with a blend of wonder and relief as his daughter, Helen, playfully interacted with the formidable cheetah. Earlier in the day, he had been filled with apprehension at the sight of the cheetah's interest in Helen. But now his anxiety was replaced by astonishment. He speculated that perhaps the cheetah saw Helen as a surrogate for her own lost cubs or maybe it had simply formed a unique and tender bond with the family. Either way, this moment marked a significant and heartwarming turn in their coexistence, in a poignant moment driven by a strong, albeit misplaced, maternal instinct. The cheetah approached Helen, mistaking her for her lost cubs. This interaction was not driven by the cheetah's predatory nature, but rather by a profound yearning for companionship. Helen had unintentionally become a surrogate for the cheetah's missing young. Witnessing this tender exchange, Aaron set aside his pistol allowing it to drop to the floor as his features softened into an expression of gentle understanding. The sight of his daughter giggling with delight while the cheetah nuzzled her was an image he would cherish forever. The cheetah, typically a formidable predator, exhibited a rare display of gentleness and connection, showcasing the complexity of her behavior. Aaron's response highlighted a nurturing side of him that beautifully showcased the emotional aspects of wildlife interactions illustrating the unexpected and touching bonds that can develop between different species. This poignant encounter deeply moved Aaron, fostering a profound empathetic connection between him and the cheetah, as well as a shared moment of joy between Helen and her newfound friend. Driven by a desire to understand the cheetah's background, Aaron took it upon himself to delve into the records of her previous habitat at the wildlife sanctuary where she had been rescued. He discovered that she had been hand-raised by humans from a young age after her mother was tragically killed by poachers. This sorrowful event had undoubtedly influenced her unusually gentle demeanor, setting her apart from other wild cheetahs. This revelation greatly enhanced Aaron's understanding and appreciation of their unique coexistence, encouraging him to allow the cheetah more freedom around their home, albeit under vigilant supervision. This decision nurtured the growth of an extraordinary interspecies friendship that continued to flourish under his attentive care. Recognizing the importance of the cheetah's emotional well-being, Erin began to implement a routine that focused on both her physical health and her psychological needs. He understood that while the cheetah was becoming a part of their family, she was still a wild animal at heart, requiring the freedom to express her natural instincts. In a gesture of profound compassion and an understanding of wildlife needs, Aaron, a conservationist at heart, worked closely with a local wildlife reserve to create a safe habitat specifically designed for a rehabilitated cheetah. This sanctuary, established adjacent to his family's vast property, featured expansive grasslands and shaded areas that mimicked the cheetah's natural environment, allowing her to thrive in conditions similar to her wild counterparts. The habitat was meticulously designed to seamlessly connect to the reserve through hidden passageways and natural barriers, ensuring the cheetah's free movement between the wild and Aaron's home. This thoughtful arrangement afforded her the liberty to choose when to roam the wilderness and when to seek human interaction. Respecting her innate desire for independence while still maintaining the bonds of trust she had developed with Aaron over time. Each morning, he would rise early to monitor her health ensuring her habitat was free from potential threats, including other predators or environmental hazards. The bond they shared was built on mutual respect. Aaron understood that, although the cheetah occasionally came close to the house, she still needed space to roam and hunt. However, during her visits, Aaron made it his personal mission to provide fresh, high-quality meat, ensuring her diet remained balanced and nutritionally rich. He carefully curated each meal selecting meats that resembled the prey she would naturally hunt, strengthening her instincts while keeping her healthy. When the cheetah appeared near his property, often at dusk or dawn, Aaron would leave the fresh meat in a secluded spot where she could retrieve it without feeling threatened or overly domesticated. This routine created a rhythm between them, a silent, respectful understanding of each other's boundaries. The trust they shared allowed her to approach Aaron without fear on certain days. 
brushing past him with her sleek, powerful body before retreating back into the wild. To preserve the integrity of the project, Aaron ensured that the reserve's wildlife experts regularly visited to assess the cheetah's physical and mental well being. They performed periodic health checks, monitoring her weight, behavior, and overall condition to ensure she remained fit for survival. Aaron also installed a series of hidden cameras to study her movements within the habitat, ensuring no detail of her health or safety was overlooked. This collaboration between Aaron and the Wildlife Reserve became a model for human wildlife coexistence. Demonstrating that with compassion and understanding, it is possible to forge meaningful relationships with even the most formidable of creatures. Through this experience, Aaron learned that empathy and respect for wildlife could lead to a richer understanding of the natural world, reminding him of the importance of conservation and the intricate web of life that connects all beings. As the sun began to set one evening, casting a warm glow across the land, Aaron sat quietly on his porch, watching as the cheetah roamed gracefully in the distance. A sense of fulfillment enveloped him as he reflected on the journey they had taken together. A journey marked by unexpected challenges and profound connections, he realized that every encounter, every moment spent with the cheetah, had not only enriched their lives but had also deepened his appreciation for the beauty and complexity of nature. Do you have any thoughts after watching the above video? Tell us in the comments section. We'd like to hear your thoughts. That's for today's story. And if you liked the video, please subscribe and give a thumbs up. See you next time.